So um, good morning, everyone. Happy Sabbath. So for today's children's story, I'll be talking about these creatures called sea otters. So here's a picture of them. Um, and here are some three facts about them. So first, sea otters have the thickest fur of any animal. Um, so their fur contains between 600,000 to 1 million hair follicles per square inch. And so unlike most marine animal, mammals, they lack a blubber layer. And so instead they depend on dense water resistant fur. To keep warm, sea otters spend a large portion of their days grooming and conditioning their fur. Another fact is that sea otters can hold their breath underwater for more than five minutes. The increased time underwater improves otters' opportunity to sense prey and look for food. And then another fact is that the average dive depth of sea otters is about 20 feet, but the deepest dive is record the deepest dive recorded is around 264 feet. So to find food, sea otters have to dive very deep into the water, and they will use their whiskers to locate their food and use the inside of their forepaws to dig for clams. Another fact is that sea otters have a way to, uh, they hold their hands so that they don't drift apart from each other. This is a very cute fact because they're like best friends who stay close to each other and they look after each other. To prevent themselves from floating away in the sea while they sleep, sea otters often entangle themselves into forests of kelp and giant seaweed to uh, provide anchorage. They do this to prevent, to prevent themselves from drifting away and they form a group. A group of resting otters is called raft. And so otters love to rest in groups. And researchers have seen concentrations of over 1000 otters floating together. So to keep from drifting away from each other, sea otters will often wrap themselves in seaweed, forming something that's called a raft. And so if these groups didn't exist, the sea otters would end up sleeping by themselves. Sometimes they could be lost. They wouldn't have any friends or family around them to comfort them. They feel as if they have no one near them. And so sometimes this is kind of how we are to God as well. God is always there by our sides. He always He is always there holding our hands to keep us safe. God will always have us in his hands to make sure we are close to him. However, once we let go, like stop praying or stop communicating to him, we might end up more like, we mo most likely will end up lost and alone. Jesus will always be there for us and we have to cling on to him so we don't drift apart from him. So one more thing I'd like to add is that um, about two weeks ago, we started going into school again. So early September, I went into my third year of high school and my sister went to her first. And I have to say the first week felt like an eternity. It was so slow and we were already introduced straight into concepts of biology and advanced functions in my classes. And I was already so busy that sometimes I forget to pray in the mornings. And so this made me feel quite distant from God. And for a second, it was like letting go of his hand. And I started to drift from him since I was so busy with all my classes and clubs. But we always have to remember that God is with us no matter what. And we always have to come back to him. We can always grab back into his word and never let go. I would like to share this Bible verse, which is found in Deuteronomy chapter 31, verse 8. And it reads, it is the Lord who goes before you. He will be with you. He will not leave you or forsake you. Do not fear or be dismayed. So like the sea otters, let's learn to stay connected with Christ so that we don't have to drift apart from him. And we can always stay in the hands of the Father who will never leave us. So let's end with a short prayer. Let's bow our heads. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for the Sabbath and thank you for always being there for us. Please help us to remember that we can always hold on to you through the bad times and the good times. Help us to remember that you will never leave us and we can always come to you no matter what. We know that you can always stay connected with us and we can we can no longer drift apart from you into whatever the world has to offer for us. Please be with us throughout the rest of the Sabbath day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.